firing off this well. Individually, everyone looks crisp right now, and the game plan was excellent in that first map. Bet Wales looking pale for big. Not a good situation to be in, but that's going to give them even more, you know, heroic. They are able to take this map away. Let's see if they can put a stop to the 2-0 BO5 ending for G2, as the CT side on Nuke is where they start. Fast rap play for big. Jax is here. Kenny has a cross, and he's got two. Oh, and he's put up another Kenny. He drops the bomb with that frag and it falls into ramp. While the attention is taken away from anywhere else, the flank has come in from Jax. And uh, it's actually Hunter, rather, flanking around from behind. He's going to deal with Keto to solidify that pistol round in favor of G2. That is a flying start for the French squad. Yeah, lovely bait there, right? Kenny, he, he's not peeking at all. His teammate does. He spots them. He takes a shot. He drops. And then Kenny just absolutely ruins big there. They, they're not ready for the double setup. G2, man, we talked about opening kills in the first map. They were all over it. Kenny was 8-0 and o with the AWP just destroying. Uh, Jax was 5-1 in one of those opening duels. And you look at big. Oh, they had two players, uh, Tizian, who was 0-3, Zantaris, who was 0-5, constantly losing these early engagements. And they just so often dictate how the rounds are going to go, not just in where they where they end up, but uh, but you know who wins the trade battle and who comes out on top in that one on one. More often than not, it was G2 and Big. They're going to lose the first here as well in this round. It's a forced buy, but with no bomb plant or pistol, it's not like they can buy up AKs. They've just got pistols and armor. Uh oh. Oh dear, Keto, I'm so sorry for what's about to happen to you, my friend. There we go. Next is followed up with a double. And he deals with both these players, he even retrieves the scout. And he looks oh. to kill this man outside. Zantares gets dealt with. It's actually Kenny sniping that one away. Tizian, armed with the Deagle. There's dispatch of Hunter, but a 1v4 down from the 1v5. It's hardly glowing odds for Tizian here. As he looks to try and bail big out of this one. Any damage he can get away with is uh, pretty valuable. Amanek with the auto up here on top of the hut. Yeah, I mean, if he walks out, he's dead. So, uh, not really much to say here for Tizian. Oh, dear. Oh, the jiggle. He's giving away his position, but Amanek fired a shot. And Tizian knows what he's up against, but Amanek swoops in for the kill. He has had enough of waiting around, and he will force the fight to find G2 a second. Full eco now for big and yeah next uh, the fact that they're not, they're not ready for that is a big surprise from this t side right obviously you know it's eco so the pressure's off and they're not really considering it but yeah g2 have great lower rotations on this map they know what to do when you take that out, outside control they're not going to panic and they have lots of things to fall back on on this ct side so big eco here and a buy the next Looking like they want to try and flood this outside area. Kenny. Out in this position, armor with the MP9. Taps down at Keto. Isn't quite able to land the killing blow. And that's there is going to come back to haunt him. Keto digs him out the round. Amanek. Waiting up here on top of the hut. Looks like he's boosting Hunter up onto the rafters with that Famous. He might look to take a position in heaven, especially now with Nexa. Seeing the legs of Zantares. Just skirt on by. This little boost, like Amanek throwing Hunter back up into the rafters so that he's able to help in heaven, really might make all the difference in this round. If there was nobody there for G2, this rap for Zantares could have found some real damage. But now, the, the odds are he just dies trying to get into heaven. And there we go, Hunter's going to win that fight. So Tizzy and Keto, they're two on four. This was only pistols in this round and oh. not able to find much more use from them. Keto, he managed to get down the vents somehow, some way. Actually, it was through secret, rather. He was looking to deal with the man in main, but baited in by the barrel, and Amanek how to remove him as a result. G2, 3-0 up, AWP out for Kenny, and now the investment coming in for big. Yeah, this uh, this auto shotgun is, is you know providing great value to G2. It's so good on that top hut position, and as long as you're not you know getting stuck in any rotations or having to deal with B plays, you should be fine. Even then, secret is, is good for it. And you know not only that, but Amanek can make money, and that money can be huge to drop over teammates, including Kenny the Orb later on. Kenny's gone for the buy though in this round. He's been playing SMG to afford it, and the Big are going outside behind the smokes. This is a really good call for your opening gun round for Big, right? They they just throw the smokes. They're they're testing G2 lower play they're testing those rotations and g2 don't know how many players are b for big 
They haven't seen a thing. They've only seen the smoke. So Amanek's about to figure it out. And Keto teaches next to Nexo the hard way. Swing for Amanek and a miss. The shot from the York will fire off, but Jax has two with the SMG. A triple rotate for lower for G2. That was the last thing that Big would expect. And now this round is very, very awkward. The, the guys who went down to B didn't survive the journey. There, there was one man who has, and that's Tabson, and he's got the bomb. He's now stuck in B all alone as he's waiting for his teammates to come in on a rotation and try and help out. This flank from Zintares has got to deliver a lot, and he's going to be hard-pressed to deliver anything. Ooh. Kenny lands that shot onto Tizian. Tabson will best Jax in the meantime, but the flank from Zintares won't find anything because there's nobody in a position where he can get a kill from Ramp. He's pushing on in. Kenny's rerouted into Decon. Hunter's still up on the A-bomb site, and Kenny... Here on the other side of the decon door, swings it wide. Tabson is protected for now, and that Molotov's going to force him back out of the bomb site. But a two on two, and Zantares and Tabson, these are the two you would want left in this for big. Although that said, Kenny and Hunter, these are probably the two you would want in this uh, in this two v two retake as well. Yeah. Double kits as well. No smoke for that bomb. Big have played this so well for Tapson waiting for Santaris to clear his secret. They're going to stick it. G2 on the bomb. They get off it again and they line up. You've got to wonder, Harry. You've got to consider what that round would have been if G2 just sticked the bomb. It happened back on Vertigo. It didn't cost them quite nearly as much, but that was a very close stick, a very close defuse. I think Big probably would have won it in the last second, but yeah, they get off it anyway, so we'll never know. Tapson lining up two and dealing with that excellently. It's important that he doesn't rush the bomb park, right? You know, if that happens in a pug, surely, you know, that player on B is going to stick the plant and, and G2 suddenly fast rotate. You know, you may have upper players that cut off rotations, but G2 would double secret and they probably would have just killed Tapson and stuck the defuse there in a two on one. So, yeah, it's really important that Tapson holds on for Zantaris to clear ramp, come through secret, check the hallways and figure out which side of the site to plant on. Kenny wasn't able to stop it with this Molotov and Big have found a first round. When they last played G2 on this map, their T side mustered four. And then one CT round where G2 close at 16-5. So big, already finding their first early in this game is a good sign. Well, that's now well for Tabson in this round, but it was never a B play to begin with. He was just going down to see what he could accomplish. The rest of the gang are going to try and pull it into A. Hunter Ooh. and Amanek don't offer much of a defense, and they get dealt with very, very quickly. But G2, they've wrapped into the lobby. Tizian is going to come back to check it. And while he's ready for the first man, will he expect Kenny also on this lobby flank? Next has gotten in through main. But Zintares is going to best him. And for Kenny in this 1v3, Izzy actually wraps on round and deals with him. So big. They're going to find this second round. They're starting to stumble back to their feet nice and early in this second map. Yeah, they're going to need to. They seem very ready for that, Harry. They had two players looking at main from the site, from rafters, and it seemed like even though they they you know lost a B player, that being big, G2 communicated that it was only one dude. And yeah, G2 were ready for the play, but they didn't hit any of the shots. And that lobby flank, Jax turns uh, just to pre-aim an, another position. But as he turns, big walk into his view in the hut. So yeah, that, that opening kill in the three on three, that really decides how that retake goes for G2 and it falls apart. Flash forward for Jax, he's gonna set them up in the ramp room, big cleared out in the lobby but they don't know that yet g2 are walking in pretty quiet and they figured it out it's all empty tizian's there at the back holding passive outside but everyone else is working the yard with the bomb g2 setting up for lower is a good idea here but if big don't rush they can figure out the fact that hell is open that they can abuse this heaven position and that's exactly what they're doing the smoke for the door of the windows centaurus with a pick and if he climbs up now the a site is going to get rumbled for g2 Oh, <laughs> Hunter. Living up to his name. Does deal right. with Zantares. There should be a trade available nice and quickly. You'll note that Searson swings out from uh, Secret looking for it. Oh. Oh. Such a mess. Oh, Ooh, there we go. go. They get it. They get the kill. It's all good. It's all under control. We all knew it would be. Amanek, P2K, and a dream does delete Keto. There's weapons that can be retrieved. Bomb has been However, with players in secret and main, Amanek is going to be hard pressed to find a gun here. 
good eco anyway, right? Like G2 really had nothing in that round. They have some pistols, a couple of deagles. So yeah, damage is fine. Keeping Big's economy on the rocks, but right now Big are feeling good as they build into this game. This is another swing rifle round. This will decide a lot, especially for Big, who do have money to fall back on. G2 do not have that luxury right now. They don't even have a kit, Harry. So if that bomb gets planted, problems will arise. And Big, they're bringing the problems. They're bringing the heat into this series. Not wanting to get too old. Setting up outside early with a bomb. Once again, a very passive default for Big where they have a player on the T roof. That's about all their lobby control in this round. So G2, if they want to get aggressive and clear this position, which they may later on, they're going to realize exactly what Big are doing. But Nex is about to get that info ahead of time. He's hidden behind the red box and they're walking up close main. Uh oh, no one's looking at them. No one's looking at anyone. Ooh, next, uh, not able to get away with the spray, and Keto's opened up into the site. Amanek now in, in the hut, not able to stand the test of time, and big. They take this rifle on rifle round by storm. Four players still alive as the bomb plant comes in, and for Jax, it's likely just going to have to be another save. Big, they're, they're really bringing the heat. This is looking at like the, uh, the big we were missing back on Vertigo. Yeah, and, and the reason I'm so excited for this game is Big's T side on this map because when they played FaZe on Nuke, traditionally a good map for FaZe, Big got 12 T rounds in that series. Uh, I'm talking about the second time they played FaZe just the other day. And the reason being for that, if you remember, Harry, was this outside control. It was Big every round running a different default outside, going, you know, for these these fast plays with the wall of smokes down towards Secret, like they opened this right, their first rifle round on this map with, and then doing exactly what they did there, which is silent walking main. And you can see G2 just didn't seem ready for it. Nexa was watching Red. He has a teammate main to cover him, but that teammate is not checking the close wall. And Big somehow walk up this deep. You can see, look, like, Kenny's not watching anything. He's turned. And, and Nexa's let them pass as well. So that setup clearly having a, a couple of problems there for G2. They have, the, they have the numbers. They have the players outside, but they're not looking in the right spot. And Big are able to sneak their way out. That's something that G2 should be very ready for if they prepared for Nuke, which I'm sure they did. So, yeah, it was a real issue for Nico the other day who couldn't find solutions in the secret. And now G2, well, they're beginning to notice the problem. Will it continue to fester as much as it did in that game against FaZe? Man, the rest are big at this point. They need to get on the keto diet as well. Because whatever he's had for breakfast today, he is fragging right now. <laughs> Amanek over here in main. He's got players all around him outside. So there's a very heavy presence here for G2. Tares, a hop, skip, and a jump Ooh. leaves him a little close to an unfriendly Kenny S. And he's actually able to elude capture as well. He backs on out, gets out through that hell smoke that's down for big. And G2, they heavy stack down at this lower B bomb site immediately in response to seeing these players cross into secret. Now, right now, this is set up to be a B play. There's always a chance that their mind gets changed on the big squad. That's the advantage of having Tizian in the lobby. You can either have him split ramp or he can come in late into this A bomb site from Squeaky or Hup. So the options are still open to G2, but they're a man down. And next is snuck in close into the garage. Now, this is pretty huge because Big, they'd already kind of probed and prodded this outside area. So I don't think they're going to be ready for next. Oh, he tries to play the trigger discipline and that betrays him. He was looking to line up a double there instead of just the one. Not taking it. And now over in the vent, Amanek gets bested. Hunter falls. Jax is on the ladder. Does get away with one. And looking to get the trade. And Tizian is there to pick it up. So big. They take that fifth round. They save the AWP. And they continue to build upon this T-side momentum. Yeah, three on four for Big there after they lose once in secret to Jack. So that's a really good reaction to, you know, like you say, not overcommit and then switch up and go back towards that top site where Tizian's lurking in the lobby. Really nice stuff from Big. And, you know, even though and, and the reason G2 are stacking lower is because they're seeing that lobby is clear, but it's not. There's there's big running players on the roof like in that round. And, and that's like essentially having the value of having lobby in the late round while also giving G2 the false sense of security that, oh, guys, there, there's no one lobby. They must be B. And well, big worthy, but not for long. Flashes into A quickly for Zantara's Molotovs as well. They're going quick into the site, but Amanex already found one. That Molly burns out Hunter with a trade. Amanex is still here at the door, and Big haven't committed past that first engagement. They're going to stick back in the lobby. Kenny's dropped. He's stuck in this site now, but he's not going to be able to provide much sustenance as Big just want to hang around. 
Ooh, Kenny looking for this kill. First man presents itself, but there's the swing, and there's the trade. Tizian ready and waiting to Ooh. grab it. He nabs another. Just been a monster on these A entries. A big, they, they kind of give G2 the middle finger. Oh, you thought we were going A. Well, there's this little thing called events. <laughs> now we go down them. Searson's holding on. And this leaves Jax all alone in the 1v3. That's a bit of damage onto Tizian and does remove Ooh. him. Oh, the follow up for Jax. He gets it down from a 1v3, now down to the 1v1. G2, they haven't found much success since the pistol and those subsequent anti ecos. And now it falls onto the back of Jax. Looking for Searson, oh. but he's ready on the angle. And Searson will keep the round in the advantage of Big. Six to three. And Big are looking good on their T side. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy play from Jax. He's just trying to offset the Orps cross there. He's trying to, you know, fake the window and, and, and hope the Searson turns around. But Searson doesn't fall for it. Smart play and nice shots from Jax, but ultimately meaningless as Big pick up another round. This is a great T side. It's good to see the same uh, things that worked against FaZe are working here, despite G2 having surely seen that game. Big, constantly switching up which site like they're heading to, never letting G2 uh, guess correctly. G2 have had a lot of just like gambles towards B and early rotations, which in their fairness has netted them a lot of kills. But when Big spot that, they often rotate out. And that's been a really, really good reaction from the Germans. So as long as they keep avoiding these setups from G2, they will keep finding rounds. And Kenny walks through a smoke to his death. Two men down in this one for G2. Big, they barely got an opening kill in that first map. Well, right now they're rolling in them. G2 now faked out to stack that top site after Big go secret. But Big, they look to be committing secret. So if that is the case, G2, hook, line, and sinker stuck on the A site. But I say that, you know, G Big, they're, they're not exactly guaranteed anyway. They're, they're still holding. They're still waiting. And now they're finally going to move in towards B. G2 are realizing lobby is clear as it often is. But one thing that remains consistent with this T side for Big is Tizian on the roof. Oh, very sweet. Now G2, uh, they'll, they'll discover that the hard way. Bomb plant's going to come in down at this B bomb site for Big. Jax has managed to sneak past Tizian, who was up on top of T roof, and get deep towards outside. Now, Big, they, they probably won't be ready. Someone coming in on this flank, and Big will oh, actually go up again. through the vent into the A site. So they put themselves. Not exactly in the firing line, but not in the safe spot either. Jax does eventually get that kill onto Tizian. Amanek tries to skirt on by, and I don't think he was spotted there, but the gunshot will indeed give it away. Searson's coming up through secret, and they're just hounding down these, these remaining players. Amanek would love to hold on to this AK. But something tells me big and not going to let him get away with it. They hound him down. They find him at the very end of the round. And that's seven on the board for big. G2, just a reminder, since the pistol and those anti-ecos, they have found nothing. Yeah, and, and that's the second round in this T side that the Big have won off the back of Tizian's position on the roof, right? Not only does he get a kill in lobby, but Big really sweat that round out. They really bleed the timer in B, sitting in secret about, for about 40 seconds till there's only 20 on the clock. And then they go up the vent because of Tizian finding a lobby kill and then pushing into A. So yeah, they've done that twice now. Big came up secret and pushed main in the past. So Tizian, he's going to go back up into his hidey hole and hang around for a bit. This is a great T-side for Big, and G2 don't have the answers. I don't know who is who will or who could have the answers, because right now it seems so hard to know what Big are doing. They constantly switch it up, and that's a missed shot that won't make anything better for G2. Kenny has been excellent in this series, but dropping the ball in a massive round, and his teammate does follow up, but Hunter's trapped in the vents. Keto's got this one dead to right. There's a trade. Big back in a four on three, and now they can just sweat, Harry. Now they can just wait as this round timer ticks away, and G2 never know where to play. Oh, Zantara's taking this fight and he's brought Nexa down very, very low. A nade would end Nexa's run in this round. The A site has pretty much fallen. Yeah, Zantara's does have the bomb, which gets a little bit worrying for a moment. Amanek removing Searson, now going back, doubling back towards outside, but Zantara's is there. And secures the kill, gives that safe passage of the bomb into this A site for Jax in the vent. His problems are just beginning. He's retrieved the orb. He's got like nice uh, right angled arms to reach up and grab that one. He's going to look to try and take it with him out of the round. Big, 
eight on the board, eight in a row. And since the rifles have come out, they've been unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's insane. I didn't think this would happen with how, how, how manhandled they got on that first map and how this game started as well in the second. But Big have really dug deep in this series. They know that they want that grand final win. They know that they don't want to be made a fool of by G2 in this series. And well, they've really come alive in this game. Starting to give us a competitive one after all. Eight rounds in a row. And another save from G2. It's all they can really get away with in this game. An orb held on, but it's not exactly going to provide a whole lot when G2 don't have money to buy up around it. Hoping Kenny can hit some shots, but well, right here, as you can see, missed in the previous round. That was the opening fight. That was a, a big pick down lower. And it will be a pick for big as they continue to hold a lead. Hold a lead. G2 with attack pause, their first of four. And one thing I will say, like, while while this format doesn't lend itself incredibly well to this, like, long drawn out grand final that we that we want, uh, I, I do think that if Big take this map and they go one to two in the best of five with Dust 2 as that fourth map in, I, I mean, fourth, third, it's hard, whatever, yeah, you, you, know, know, whatever both, you want to I call guess. it, right? Like, you Let's know, with, uh, with, with, with Dust 2 being the third map then of play, uh, a map that G2, they, they were strong on and then kind of subsequently fell off on and one that they often lose whenever they're the team to pick into it. Another thing is, is that it's a good map for big. I don't know, man. I think this series could really have some legs on it. And then, and then you yeah. factor in the fact that you end on Mirage, right? A good map for big once again. I don't know if this one would be plain sailing, especially not if big are able to pick up such a dominant victory here on Nuke. Now, there's still time to right your wrongs if you're G2. There's still a chance to get back into this first half of play. But the problem I'm having is that they just haven't shown anything like that so far, right? Like they've had a couple of 1v1s at the end of rounds where maybe things could have gone their way. But they just literally haven't got around since the pistol and those anti-ecos. And bigger, not making it any easier, Harry. <laughs> it's, it's the same pace as Vertigo from them as well, which obviously didn't really work on that map. That's not a map where I think that pace is ever all too good and against, against an aggressive CT-sided team. But here on this map, it's doing the perfect job of forcing rotations in the wrong way. Next, I like the position. It's going to get checked, but not fully. Zantara's dead. There's still an orb outside. Kenny here could drop six, and he's done that. He needs to do more. The molly lands, and he hits a leg shot, but that leg will not be enough. It's not going to be dead for Big. Hunter with a kill in lobby, finishing off low HP Tizian, and now we're into a two-on-two -two Big. Do they want to keep the mind games, or do they just want to run the gauntlet down towards his B site? If they do, there's no one here yet. Molotov and the Ben going to deny this rotation for Hunter, at least for the time being. 25 seconds here for Big. They want to get this bomb down, and the longer they're leaving it, the more time they're giving to Hunter to get into position. Jax has even come in, and he's spraying off at the ramp. Uh -huh. He's getting Big preoccupied with his position nice. here. Hunter swings out, Tabson gets the kill, and it's down to the 1v1. He's not going for the bomb plant, he's playing for the kill, and Jax Ooh. holds the line. G2, they'll take a round, they put a fourth up on the board. They're not ready to let this game slip by the wayside just yet. That was a, a partial buy round from G2 that they managed to pick up. That's, yeah, that's a problem again that, that happened on Vertigo. No one covering the plant, but not only that, Jax, oh, it's so important he wins that fight because he was spamming the smoke when his teammate dropped the bomb. Like, he should have just run, really, and he would have won the round off of time. But, yeah, hanging around to engage and then winning it, ooh, that's metal. Flexing on the enemy. Taps are jumping outside. Nexus heard it, but the flash is good. He's back in the same position. Surely they won't expect this again. It seems all too obvious. Hunter's baiting them in. He's drawing fire from the yard. Nexus won't let them climb up to kill him from the back. And well, two players have made their way down secret here for big. That is information that G2 should have to a degree. They know that someone is down lower. Amanek hanging around on A can drop Tizian in the hut, but AS yes, is very weird right now. Jax has got to rotate lower. He's left the, uh, as the sole man to do so, but Bigger coming back up the vents. At least one of them is. They could crunch A. Or is Tapson going to drop that smoke to let them come with him with the bomb? Oh my, that is masterful. Searson's down B with the package. Yeah, that's very cool. They hear the vent drop. Tizian delivers a kill. Can he get a nail a shot onto Searson? And Jax is still a bit of an unknown entity here inside of this B site. 
Thus far, you've seen the orb at ramp, and they even try and send Tapsy with the bomb back up through the vent while Tizian is wrapping into this site. He delivers the kill, and now the plant can come in at A. G2, they begin the rotation back. Ooh. Hunter up in heaven delivers an important kill onto Tizian. Tabson and Keto left in a two on three, but a double heaven retake from G2. Jack's trying to get up the vent and Keto winning that fight. Tabson oh. removes the other two and from heaven they fall as this round goes the way of big. G2, they're going to be kicking themselves there. That is a, a, a great, I, that's, I, sorry, I, I love the way that big use these vents. They, they use them all the time, it feels like. They're so willing to go for these rotations to just flip this script on a dime. And they end up in that A bomb site the moment B doesn't go their way. And that saves them, truthfully. If they committed yeah. to be there, like look to be the plan, it would have all fallen apart. Kenny was at ramp nailing shots with the orb, and then hidden in the site was Jax, and he was like, they didn't know he was there, right? They'd spotted Kenny. Likely you think that that orb is like the sole rotator down towards B. Big are using fast travel, Harry. That's what the vents are to them. They're just quick rotating and TPing around the map, and G2 just constantly getting dealt rough hands. Big are now letting it loose and just running out on their own. Kito gets a kill on ramp. He's been really good in this game. 14 and nine right now. We saw signs of that towards the end of, uh, of, of Vertigo with the T side of Big. He was pushing smokes, he was getting kills, and well, Big, they've brought that same momentum, that same heat into this game, leading 9-4 with a likely 10th following. This money is weak for G2. They're remaining to or save some money for the last round of the half here. But I can't believe Big go back up vent in that round. It's just such a good call. You never see teams do it. And I feel like it's not abused enough, but they've always got Tizzy and Lurking to allow for that. Double B setup though. This is one that Big now need to make that call. If they want to go up, this is the time. And they're going to do it again. Oh, it's so annoying. G2, they set up for the play and then they get dealt this. Sears and wrapping main. What is this? What's happening? Big, they're just winning every fight. Tapson's got another. It's down to the one-on-one. -on -one. He can go wherever the hell he wants. Amanek spotted on A. Tapson drops again. And big they are in the heads of their opponents they are rent free in the brains of g2 bomb plant coming in amanek beginning this rotation sticking with the ump 1v1 to try and get a fifth round on the board for g2 Absent on the other side. Not an easy man to deal with by any stretch of the imagination. He's repositioned here into the decon. Amanek going to spot this bomb planted out in the open. And it seems like he has the read as to where Tabson's trying to hide. Swings on out, but can't connect the shots needed. Tabson with three kills to secure a tent on the board for big. And this is a pretty dire spot to be in now for G2. Yeah, this time it's down to Sears. It's not Tizzy and that gets that upper pick that, that constantly uh, draws the rotations for G2. It's Sears and dropping main and coming in uh, with the AWP. Like, what a what a crazy play, firstly, to do that with an AWP. But he meets the counter AWP on the CT side and takes him down. So, yeah, it just feels like everything's working for Big. Whatever they do, whatever they read, whatever they rotate, G2 are unstacked. And sometimes Big are getting that info right. Sometimes Big see 2B and they rotate. Sometimes they don't get any info. Sometimes they just see the AWP and they go, that's enough. And little do they know it, but they are rotating away from the stacks in back-to-back -back B rounds. They've done so. Kenny doesn't see that man behind red boxes. He does see the barrel of Searson, but I think this gets spotted and a flash out to allow Searson out of this or back on this angle, rather. Kenny will get smoked. And well, in more ways than one, Searson shoots through it and big hold of five on three. Blink and you miss it. They're in control once again. And big now, sitting at such an advantage, they're going to be really slimy in this round. They leave Keto at ramp. He's low on HP. And so from this little cubby, he could just lock down ramp rotations. They're never going to come through for G2. They've already got three players here down in this B bomb site. Tizian is still back in hut as well. There's always like the uh, the chance that, you know, you don't have the vents to play around with anymore, but there's always a chance that the aim of the game changes. However, now the bomb is deep within the site and Tizian... Tabson rather gets it planted. Searson has his back and delivers that kill. Next up, and Hunter left in the two on four. 
Yeah, but surely this is unwinnable, right? Like, no kills being given away. The orb fires off again, and, well, there it is. Big, big are in control of this game, and it is not Vertigo anymore. Those odds tightening up, and, well, my fist clenching a little bit as this one gets sweaty. 11 to 4 in the first half. That was an excellent T-side for Big, and they look to really put the ribbon over it. G2, T-side now. Pistol round with some util on Amanek. We got Julies on Keto above the hut. This is going to be a great half. I can feel it. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a keto classic. He always plays these dual Berettas on top of the hut. This isn't like you know some meme buy in the grand final. This is his bread and butter, and often he's pretty good with it. So let's see what he can get away with in this round. Hunter getting up into heaven very aggressively. Tabson is spotting from this position, but he's got to give it up. He knows that they're wrapping close and that they're looking to deal with him here on the heaven side of the map. He tucks himself in out on the rafters. And we're seeing an adjustment from Big. They've pushed the lobby. They've uh, they've secured it, not just from the A side of the map, but also from ramp as well. And so at this point, they've got a very good idea as to the areas G2 can occupy in this round. The one thing that I think maybe runs a bit of a risk here for Big is that this lower bomb site is getting scouted slowly but surely by Amanek and Nexa. And so they could call for a rotation of this bomb. Now, it would have to go through ramp if they were going to rotate into this B site. I don't think they run the gauntlet outside again. And Centares is keeping an eye on this ramp room. But he is only one man at the end of the day. And so how much can you expect him to deliver? Tabson, no. is he going to be ready for Jax? I really don't think so. The timing just couldn't be worse. Tabson waits all round for this push to come in. And now that that kill is delivered, G2 get players down into the B site next to Best Centares. And now that ramp rotation is enabled for G2. This entire round has just fallen apart for Big. And all that's left for G2 to do now is to put this bomb down. Ooh, that flash but, hits a teammate as well. Oh, that's not what you want. Tizzy and flashed out and sis, and he's going to trade, but two on four for all the marbles. And they're getting dropped to the door. Tizzy and falls as well. And hey, you thought Big liked fake in that T side. We'll say hello to G2 because they got a couple tricks up their sleeve as well. Setting up for that A play. Big clear lobby. They know it's a heaven wrap. They're so ready for the heaven wrap. Santaros is even holding ramp with his back to the lobby. And well, this kill is everything. Jax keeps them on A for just a few more seconds. Santaros rotates B. They trade him out as well. That was so nice from G2. Just falling back into B. I think they wanted that for the start of the round. But uh, yeah, like you said, those scout players down on B really cleared that one out. And now we have some scout players of our own here on the CT side. Big with one on CS and forced up as they often do. Pistols have been so good for G2 today, Harry. They've won four out of four and converted every single one. Well, apart from this one, but that's yet. We'll wait and see as three rifles, two SMGs work their way down secret. Footsteps, Centares, the eagle. Oh, wow. oh, he's gotten three. How on earth? Centares shutting down the B play. Tabson removes Nexa. And my word, G2, they start sprinting to get through the door and they are going to wish they never made that decision. Hunter, last man alive, and he doesn't find anything. Centares, look at him. The smile on that man's face, justifiably so. That was unreal. Three kills with the Deagles, seconds apart. One, two, and then the third. A little bit more uh, messy on kill number three. Doesn't get the little clean headshot, but I don't think he cares, man. I don't think he even yeah. is worried. That was incredible from Zakaris. Luckily, he got all those kills in decon, Harry, the washroom. So there's plenty of fluids to clear, clean that one up. Plenty of disinfectant. And they'll be getting the blood off the wall in no time. Right back into the next round. That's crazy. What a, what a saving grace. Because honestly, this game, this was not done. G2 with that pistol round showed us that they have a lot of things to say, a lot of things to show in the second half. And they could have built upon that rifle round, close the pistol, take, you know, an 8-11 eight, eight, scoreline, start with, or sorry, 7-11 scoreline, start winning rifle rounds. This would have been close very quickly. But big winning that force, they have just shut it down. They have just said, no, this is our map. G2, you want it, you're going to have to work for it. And wow, their work is cut out for them. Big arm to the teeth now in this third round. 
Tapson's watching outside. He's got support from Searson in main. They are already crossing, though. There's something big don't know. The flash blinding Jax from his teammate. Second volley going out, though, and big. They are going to realize now. Do you get players across though as big can see this outside control? And they're not looking to do much with secret. Instead, wrapping into garage and sending Jax down towards B solo. Now he's holding on to this. Searson is here. Searson decides to drop that smoke and play on the other side of it. Now he does get bought down very, very low, but it's not a kill for G2. And Tabson falls all the way back into CT. I drew that one out because that's how far he ran. Now he takes his very passive light in through spawn, a crossfire set up with Zantares. Sneaky little Kenny was trying to go beneath the crosshairs, and Zantares does go into a crosshair of his own. He gets dropped by Jax, and Tabson still trying to hold down outside. Tip taps another one out of the round here to keep big in the advantage. I love this from Tabson. He's re-aggressing. He gets a kill. He falls back. He's just pushing and prodding. And, and, and you know, G2, they want to avoid him. They want to just go past him. But, you know, it's hard when he keeps forcing engagements. Oh, dear. The bomb gets tapped down to 30. They know where it's going. Big have all the info in the world. Searson's going to drop off. He's low. He just needs a kill here. At bare minimum, if he can stop the plant with 10 seconds, that would be nice too. But Nexa has come through the window and is looking to put bullets in the back. Searson. Oh, dear. Timing is everything. And right now, G2 have got the plant. Here's the retake for Big. A man up with all the guns. Amanek's not going to get checked. He's got a weapon now. He's got a chance to make this one interesting. Searson trying to keep a range, trying to keep a headshot angle with his low HP. But Tapson, he's got the drop on Amanek, leaving it down to Jax in the clutch. A one on three. Oh, he's so white. He does get that kill. Tapson on three, and he's now all that stands. Jax's gone above, but he can't go beyond. Tapson finds the four kill, and it's going to be Big with the retake here. Again, G2, they make it competitive. They make it close, but they can't take it over the line. This is the big I wanted to see today. And we may not have had it in the first map, but boy, oh boy, were they warming up for the second. G2, another pause. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. 10 kills at the AK and M4 combined. How? That's, that's unreal. How? <laughs> I don't even understand that, right? Like, you know, what What about the rounds where you don't have money for the AWP? I guess he's scouting, but even so, like, 10 kills in multiple maps. Big 3 0 their group. Big came through the upper bracket initially, defeating FaZe, falling to G2, coming back up through the lowers. They played a lot of Counter Strikes. So that is quite the stat, but. Yeah, right now, I mean, sis, he's not getting many kills at all. He doesn't need to. 11 frags. Tapson's doing the heavy lifting for big. And, well, G2, they need to lift themselves up out of this hole. They've gone for the fours. A very risky one. But at this scoreline, you may as well. Mac 10s running outside towards Secret. Yeah, it's the Mac Daddies of G2. Tapson nades them down and drops the smoke as well. So the momentum that G2 had has been sucked out of this round. They wait on the other side. There's a rotation from Centara as they try and flash through. Tabson knows he's in a bit of a rough spot here, especially now that he's lost his teammate. Tabson, oh, oh, he's going to deliver three. Deals with the flank almost, brings Amanek down low, but that's a bomb plant at the very, very least, maybe. No, Amanek gets caught by Stearson on the rotation. And next, uh, last man alive, flanked by Keto. Big, they're going to take a 14th. They deal with the Mac 10 force by. And on the back of that decision, G2 now up against 14, faced with an eco. I, I don't even, like, at this point, right, like, if you force bought that round, I almost feel like you may as well just be forced yeah. by until the end of the game. Could argue that for sure. I mean, you know, at this point, G2 want a rifle round in this half. They're not going to get one until the, up against 15. And it's crazy how this map can flip. Just days ago, Big 16-5, uh, uh, sorry, G2 16-5'd Big on Nuke with a dominant CT side. Right now, it's the complete opposite. It's big, dominating G2 with a strong T side. And G2, just eagles in this round, are relying on the headshots. Good luck. You may be able to find some opening kills, but big aren't going to be dropping the round when it gets hectic. Oof. 
this and even dealing with Nexa at ramp. And this round is already pretty much over. It's only Hunter and Amanek left. I know it rubs some people up the wrong way when you say a round's over and it's not over, but it's just Eagles. Uh, it's right, not even that, it's over. a Eagle and a PT-50. And uh, with these two being trapped outside, Ooh. okay, that's kind of nice from Hunter. I would love now for me to just get proven wrong immediately and have them steal the round away. I wouldn't even be mad. Well, unfortunately, Big, they have no interest in that, Harry. Amanek alone, flashing Hugo, It's not teammate. over till it's over. No, of right. course not. It's not over. But now it is over. Big, 15 rounds over the top. 10 above G2. And, well, we wanted at least one rifle round for G2 in this T side. They're going to get it, Harry. But it's going to be up against map point right now. So, no... Ooh, nothing to fall back on, except, I guess, dust. That is the third map of this series that will be coming up if a big can push us over the line. Maybe not if, maybe more of a question of when. G2 have 10 rounds to hit OT, and then we start again. Look at Searson go. He's taking fights outside. He's looking to sweep this map under the rug nice and quickly for big. And now that they're in a five on four, they just turtle up again. They're not going to give these picks over. They're not going to give you an equalizer on the G2 side. And that means G2 have got to take matters into their own hands. They've got to force these fights if they want to get this back into a four on four. Hunter gets out on top of main. He's going to drop this smoke into this position. But Keto's already gone past it. And he spots that there wasn't any players deep just yet. Waiting to play in tandem with Tabson at the back of Garage. But look at Hunter. He has dropped by and gets a little bit deeper than they were ready for. Zantaris is able to adjust in time. Now this A play looking to come through for G2, Ooh. at least right now. The bomb is over towards Secret. That's a huge kill from Nexa as well. Him and Keto both knew they wanted to fight, but they were both jiggling. Neither would commit, and Nexa wins the swing battle. Tizian sneaks into Hut with a kill, responding, and that gives Lobby the way of big. They had an aggressive ramp player on that orb. Messias has now gone back. He can join up in hell if this ends up on A, but he's actually dropped lower, leaving Amanek and Kenny with a two-on-two -two in this site. Those are not good odds, though. Zantaris is watching the wrong way, and Amanek is going to take him down, leaving Tizian in the middle of the open. Amanek slaughtering on this site and G2 they might have fight left in them after all Searson one on two worth giving a go at this point but they are right above him Ooh, Searson's caught the kill and now a 1v1 Searson versus Kenny Searson with his weapon of choice trades out onto the AK hops on down the bomb planted for main Kenny playing this position just playing to deny the defuse oh, and he's not boy. able to do it big they're gonna grab this round Searson steals it back 